Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brie and in today's video I'm going to be doing a pack with me slash travel essentials slash what's in my carry-on and what's in my personal bag. So I just got back from DR. Actually, I've got been back for a while, but this video is just getting up. But I basically am just showing you guys what I brought with me on my vacation. I'm showing you guys outfit ideas. I'm giving you guys like just basically tips and I hope this video is very beneficial for you guys if you are going on an upcoming vacation or you just need some type of tips and just ideas on what to bring. This video should be very helpful for you guys. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, if you are just curious on what I brought or what I pack, um, then keep watching. Okay guys, so I apologize if this is a weird angle, but um, first I'm just going to show you my personal bag. Um, and then I'm going to show you my carry-on. I'm also going to show you what's in both of these bags. But this bag um, is my personal bag, like I said, and it says Hello Weekend. I purchased this at a, um, Primark. Um, I did do a Primark haul a few months ago, so if you guys are interested in, to, in seeing what else I got from Primark, you guys can go ahead and check that out. Um, so I'm just going to open this and show you guys what I have in here. So the first thing I have in here is this. Ziploc bag. It has all of my bikinis in here. Um, I'm not going to go through and like take all of them out, but I just wanted to show you that all my bikinis are um, in this bag right here. And this is um, like a Ziploc freezer type bag. Um, another thing that I'm keeping in here is just this sun visor because I am going to the Dominican Republic and it's going to be like high 80s the whole week. So I'm definitely going to need something to block the sun. Um, so these, these are my Crocs. My sister actually bought these for me, but I don't know if you guys can tell, but they're like, it's like a rubbery material. So I'm using these as, I use these as water shoes over the years. So these are going to be what I'm going to be using for water shoes. And then I, um, have inside here just a clutch for, um, when I go out at night, um, out to dinner or whatever it be. Um, I have a clutch because I'm going to definitely use that. And then I put my passport inside of this clutch. And then I also have in here a travel pack of Sanit's, what's this called? Antibacterial wipes. With the, I use this for basically just wiping down the plane and wiping down, you know, your room at the hotel and stuff like that because you don't want to get sick and just kill the germs, you know, and stuff like that. Um, I got this for a dollar at Dollar Tree. And then obviously my charger, uh, my wallet with all my stuff in it, obviously my travel, my travel money, my ID and stuff like that. Um, I have a random, not random, but a bar of soap. In here is just like, this is basically just, you know, one of those little small little bags. I forgot what these are called, but in here is just all my shoes. So basically I have, um, a pair of sandals in here. I have a pair of heels in here. I have a pair of sneakers in here. Um, and that's basically it. I'm actually going to put this in here to see if it fits just so I can have as not that much stuff outside of it and just kind of make everything as compact as possible. And then I have a pair of flats. Again, I'm going to try and fit those in that bag if I can. Um, but if not, oh, and I forgot to mention, for all my shoes, I take um, a rubber band and I wrap the rubber band around each shoe just to make it more compact and to save you as much space as possible. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to put that back, put everything back in this bag. So yeah. Okay guys, so this is my carry-on. I'm not bringing um, a suitcase with me. I'm gonna be gone for seven nights um, at this resort in Puerto Plata, Dominican Republic. And so I'll show you guys what the, the thing, what the whole thing looks like. This is a medium-sized Nike duffel bag, but this is looks very stuffed. Um, I didn't really pack this. Um, as tight as I could have because I knew I was going to have to take everything out to show you guys. So right now, I'm just going to open it and show you guys what's in here. So this is my makeup bag. Um, so basically what's in here 
Um, I have my biotin. I have my lotion. I have chapstick. Lip gloss. Um, this is a lint roller. Hair ties. Um, makeup. Hold on. Obviously, like makeup and stuff like that. I'm probably only going to wear makeup once on this trip. I have sunblock. Um, more sunblock. I have like three tubes of sunblock in here. And I have a few packets of gum for the plane. Um, perfume. This is my Juicy Couture Hollywood Royal perfume. Um, and then I have some headphones for when I watch movies on the plane. Some more chapstick. Um, some eyeliner. I have a few makeup brushes in here. Um, what else? I don't know if you guys can see. I have concealer, lip gloss, I have deodorant. This is just the regular, I think that's like the plain Dove deodorant. Um, and then I have, this is, right here is lotion. Um, I have a lot of, so I just packed everything that I would need. And then I have some more lip glosses, um, lip gloss, um, I have the Great Lash Maybelline Mascara. Um, I don't want to take everything out, but I know some of you guys are going to want to see. Um, this is just, I think this is like a lip cream, lip stain. Um, I also have some hand sanitizer. This was the mascara I was talking to you guys about. Um, I love this lip gloss. I use this in my get ready with me for date night. If you guys haven't seen that video, go ahead and watch it. Um, yeah, and I have, what else do I have in here? I do have some lipstick in here too, just in case. I'm probably going to try out a bunch of different lip combos to see what I like the best. And I have, like I said, hair ties, just in case I want to put my hair up for this trip. My hair is going to be out curly, of course, and then I have some bobby pins. So that's basically all that I have. And in this little plastic bag, I just have biotin because I've been taking that um, recently. So that is what's in my makeup bag. And for those of you who are wondering where I got this makeup bag, I got this at Forever 21 for about $5.90, and it matches my nails. Um, on camera, it's not really showing up, but this is neon yellow, and it matches this. So I'm just going to take everything out. This is stuff to the max, but this is just a black cardigan, a black plain long sleeve cardigan, just in case it gets cool at night. I can put this over my dress or something like that. Um, this right here is just a white dress, so just in case, you know, for a lunch or dinner or whatever, I gave myself a lot of, like, um, different options for what I might want to wear. I know this, I definitely overpacked, but, you know. And then this is just a Nike, um, this is a Nike raincoat. My mom actually gave this to me. It's pretty vintage. It's cool. This is in now, but my mom had this for years and now this is like back in style but she gave this to me before it was like the, the new thing now um if that made sense I hope that did then I just have a pair of shorts for sleeping or working out I'm gonna try to work out at least once or twice while I'm there at the resort and then I have just have like a plain white v-neck t-shirt um and then I have some sh jean shorts these ones go to your knee um, I also only am going to bring one pair of jeans. This, these are from Fashion Nova. These are the high-waisted blue jeans. Um, this was a gift to me. I'm going to try to make this work somehow. This is like, I don't know, something that you would wear at the beach or something. I don't know. We'll see. I'll try to make this work. Um, so I did bring and pack lots of dresses. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention, the reason why I am bringing the, um, raincoat is because... It's supposed to rain. Let me see if I can get my face in here. No, I have to point it. I have to point it at my clothes. All right, and so this is a dress. I got this from Forever 21 a few years back. 
I just totally messed up the the angle. But yeah, this is just a white dress. Um, this is just a shirt. It has like off the shoulder. It has like just one little spaghetti strap. Um, just this is just a regular white cami. This is just a regular pink shirt. Nothing special. Again, this is just a regular t-shirt to sleep in. Nothing too serious. And then this is just a regular tank top. This used to be a dress made into a shirt. My sister did. Um, these are just regular jean shorts from H&M. Um, this is just another regular... This is um, a dress, another dress. I forgot where I got this from, to be honest. It's just a cute dress. And then I just have these white sh these white pants. They're like linen pants. They still have the um, tag on them. These were gifted to me. Um, this is just a regular white tank top. This is just another regular white v-neck t-shirt. Um, this is another tank top. This is just a plain pink dress. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's just a plain pink dress. I got this from H&M. Um, and then this is another navy blue tank top. Um, this is another pair of jean shorts. I got these from H&M. I also have another dress. I love this dress so much. It's very pink, as you guys can see. It's kind of like a neon pink, to be honest. And the back is really cute. It has, like, lace and stuff. So this is a really cute dress. It's going to be hot there, so I just want to have, like, a lot of dresses. I don't want to be, like, too hot. Um, and then this is just, um, my boyfriend bought this for me. Um, we have matching ones because we're, we're that couple. Oh, it says Los Angeles. This is like a polo shirt, as you guys can see. And it's purple, so we both have not worn this together yet. So we thought that this trip would be an opportunity for us to match. And so this dress, I love it too. My boyfriend also bought this for me too. It's like a black and pink dress it looks short on camera but trust me it's not as short as it's showing up to be it's like a really good length and this fits perfectly he bought this at windsor he has like great taste in clothes whenever he buys me something it always fits and it's always like literally perfect um this is just a red dress um because i'm gonna try to do get as many dinner reservations as i can so at night i kind of want to dress up a little bit so this is like an off the shoulder red dress that i bought um from h m and I wore this actually for my anniversary, my one year anniversary with my boyfriend a few months back. And then I have an, a romper. This was from H&M. I bought this years ago. And then the last, no, second to last thing I have in here is another romper. This romper is so cute. It's so super duper cute. It's a, so, 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 so cute. It's like mustard yellow with like flowers on it. This is so cute. I'm probably going to wear this the first day. Um, and this, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh yeah, I got this from Charlotte Rouge. And then the last thing in here is just another tank top. Okay guys, so excuse my face if it looks oily. I just put Vaseline over my nose because my nose is kind of irritated. Um, but anyway, so basically when I was packing, I tried to bring a lot, like a few shorts, a lot of tank tops, depending on how hot it is. If I'm, you know, not in the mood to wear dresses and I kind of just want to be casual, I gave myself a few of those options. I also brought rompers because rompers are really quick. You just put them on. It's just one piece the whole th way through. I also gave myself a couple of nighttime dresses, um, one pair of heels, you know, one pair of sandals, one pair of flats, trying to be simple. Um, and then some casual dresses, lots of casual dresses because it's going to be really hot. Um, and I got some shorts and stuff like that. So basically everything is pretty casual, pretty, some cute, really cute outfits. And I did bring obviously some stuff to, to wear, um, to sleep and stuff like that. Some plain t-shirts and things. So, so that's basically everything that I brought. I'm just going to show you guys. I'm just going to really just roll everything up and make sure it's really jam packed because I didn't roll it right really good the first time but I just remembered I do have some more stuff that I didn't show you guys in the side pockets so this is the side pocket of this Nike bag and I have like a Ziploc bag of like three different sunglasses I have white sunglasses aviator sunglasses that I got from Primark and then these other like you know those um cheetah it looks like cheetah print but it's not um those type of print cat eye type of 
sunglasses. So I only got three. And then in this pocket, I just have some sports bras. And then I have a bonnet for nighttime when I go to sleep. So that's a nap pocket. And then on the other side pocket, um, I have a Ziploc bag full of other stuff. So I'll show you guys what's in here. So in here I have some bio oil. Um, this is, has been really helping a lot with my scars. So I want to make, because I've been using this really consistently and just because I'm on vacation, I don't want to stop using it. So I'm definitely going to bring that with me. And luckily it's two ounces, so I should be fine bringing this on the plane. And then I have um, my toothbrush. Um, I have my face wash in here. My face wash. My serum my hair oil for my scalp I bought some cotton pads and this is just apple cider vinegar and water this is what I use as a facial toner and then I have my um, face moisturizer and then I have a under eye roller thingy for puffiness and dark circles so if you guys are interested in knowing what I do for my face, this is basically all my stuff that I use for my, my face, but I do have a skincare routine showing you guys like step by step what I do and it's very detailed. So if you guys want to know like what I do for my face and stuff like that and the products that I use, um, which I just showed you the products for the most part, but in more detail if you guys are interested, be sure to check that video out. I'll leave a card and a link to that video in the description box if you're curious and you want to check that out. And also in this pack, and this side is just a bunch of underwear. Um, I have like seven pairs and then a bra. And I'm going to also bring another bra. And I, I, um, I have a bandeau in here just in case I just want to wear a bandeau instead of like a regular bra. Um, so yeah, so that's it. And I'm just going to roll this stuff back up and put it inside of this. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it. That's everything that I brought with me on my trip to DR. Um, I just wanted to thank every one of you for watching and shout out to you if you made it to the end because I know this video was long. If you haven't already, comment, like, and subscribe. Share this video if you would like to. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you. Bye.